James is here to help me show you how simple a solar battery and inverter system can be. So here are all the components. We have a 12 volt battery. We have an inverter that will convert the 12 volt power to 120 AC. And then this one also provides some USB ports as well, which are already 12 volt. It's just a through. And here, as James was saying, we have a charge controller, which will connect to the solar panel and enable the solar panel to safely charge the 12 volt battery. So every system could be different. You could use different type of cabling. Uh, you could use different size inverters, different size batteries. You could use multiple batteries. This is just to give you a generic example. You'll just need something that's 12 volt if you're running a 12 volt inverter and 12 volt charge controller. Larger systems can be 24 or 48 volt, but we're not gonna worry about that now. So this is just a simple marine deep cycle battery, but you could also use a 12 volt lithium battery like this or an AGM battery like this. We're gonna to need to hook this charge controller to this battery. I already have alligator clips hooked up to this, so yours could be eyelets or some other type of connector. So, so now we have that hooked up. You can see here I have battery is lit. I have selected sealed since this is a sealed lead acid battery. Now we're going to connect that solar panel to the charge controller. Okay, so th yet again, the connections are secondary. Uh, it's just going to be a positive and negative, just like on an auto battery, you have positive and negative coming from the solar panel as well. So I have SAE quick connects. This could look like something else. It could be bare wires coming from MC4 connectors or Anderson connectors. All right, so I now have this solar panel hooked up and you can see that the PV or photovallic, which is referring to the solar panel, is lit up. It's receiving some UV rays, so showing that connection is good. It's just literally solar panel in to the charge controller from the charge controller to the battery. And there you've already got 12 volt solar power hooked up. The point of these is to regulate the flow from the solar panel to the 12 volt so that it gets the fastest charge and also so that it does not overcharge when the battery is topped off. And then lastly, we just need to make this useful. So there's power going in, but we wanna get that power out. So we're gonna hook up this inverter with these cables and we'll be able to get AC power as well as have some USB connections. All right, so now I've connected very crudely this battery to this inverter. So positive to positive, negative to negative. And here we can just go and see that we now have 120 AC power or 12 volt through the USBs coming from our battery. So we have sun into the solar, solar into the charge controller, charge controller out to the battery and battery out to the inverter. And that's your whole system. Ready for some off-grid power harvested from the sun. Here on my van, I have solar panels which run to the charge controller there, that Renogy unit, to this battery in this box, and then out from the battery to an inverter. So it's the exact same diagram, just larger and heavier duty components I will say that you'll definitely want the proper size fuse between the inverter and the battery. Once again, it's solar to charge controller, charge controller to battery, and battery to inverter. So I hope that helps.